Oh, hi there, Fred. Hi there, Fred. Good morning. Yeah! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Uh, good, 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 good morning, y'all. It's 5 a.m. in the morning, and I'm feeling great. I uh, took a long break off from hunting. I don't know. I bet you I took off uh, four or five day, four or five day period. I took off and just spent with the family for the holidays, you know. Whew. And let me tell you, the break was much needed. It was nice, but Fred and I, old Frederick, he's ready to get back at it, aren't you, buddy? Oh yes, buddy, yes. Duck season isn't gonna be here much longer. The long January split is coming really really quickly december 29th ducks close for kansas pretty much now they'll be open in southeast kansas but it's pretty far away from the house so i got to take advantage of what duck hunting i have left here until the 29th through the 29th pretty much now ducks open up pretty much it's like the last week of january only for about six seven eight days i gotta look at those dates again to really make sure exactly what they are which i have to tell you guys a lot of people splits and a lot of species they're shutting down right now and they're gonna be shutting down they're gonna be closing so just pay attention to your seasons guys know what's open and know when stuff closes but all in all today uh i'm going with gerald we're going to my lease field have not hunted my lease field for a long time. I'm super pumped. Me and Gerald went and scouted it yesterday and there was a ton of ducks flying over it. So there was uh, about 50 specks in the field right where we'll be sitting today, but we're after the mallards today. We are after the field, the corn field duck hunting today, baby. I cannot wait. I'm hoping we have luck. Like I said, the ducks were over the field, they weren't in it, so we're going to have to pull them down. And I think we're going to be using a white spread with dark up front, laying in white. Give it that white appearance, that glow, get their attention, suck them down. I remember about two years ago with Preston, uh, we hunted my field, this field in particular, twice this way in white for ducks, and the ducks ate it up. So the ducks haven't been touched in the field really yet. Out there, this is going to be the first hunt. It should be juicy let's hope so but real quick ducks is still giving away my boat my big old mud buddy duck hunting boat oh yeah we're still giving it away and if you want to get entered to win it all you got to do is subscribe to the ducks t-shirt of the month this is a ducks t-shirt of the month this month go click on the ducks t-shirt of the month link down in the description below Go sign up. It will enter you to win my duck boat at the end of the season, y'all. Plus, the Ducks t-shirt of the month is only $14.99. But, I'm done talking. Let's get on the road. Well, we are at the old gas station filling the rig up here. And a lot of you are probably wondering, Bob, why haven't you hunted the lease filled more often? I'm paying for it, right? Yeah, I lease it. I pay for it. I know. Birds just haven't been on it yet this entire season. Now, uh, when we had water on it, we did have some teal that we got into there at the beginning of the season, but since then, the water's dried up. There's literally a little puddle in my field now. So, with the water being gone, the, uh, the secondary good thing is the cut corn. And the birds are finally finding that cut corn. You know what I'm saying? So, I want to hunt it a lot more. It's a juicy little spot, but hopefully we'll get a lot of good goose hunting in uh, in January. We'll just have to see. As far as ducks go on it, that's the reason why I leased it. You know what I mean? Initially, years back, was for the ducks. So I'm just hoping we get a good one today. Well, hi there, Fred. How are you doing, buddy? He's ready to go. Ripping and ready, buddy. Got a beautiful Kansas sunrise, though. A little bit of cloudage. Supposed to be mostly cloudy all day. We're laying in white on the lease field. That's a good dog. <laughs> Sit, Fred. Sit. Come here. Come here. Sit. Oh, well, they came, they looked, and they said no, Freddy. What's that all about? You see that bird? You see him, Fred? You see him?
Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot them too. Friends. Well, there we go, got two down. Right here! Well, there we go. First lesser of the day, old Frederick took about an hour to bring it back. What are you doing, man? Came back with a mouthful of feathers and not knowing what's going on. Strong dude. Shoot him. Oh man, I am dry fired. He dead. All right, well, we let them work for a long while, baby. They gave it up nice. Fred, here! Let's go! Come on. That's a good Freddy. Heel. Right here. Right here. My bird. Set. Is there any more? Dead bird. Fred. Dead bird. Right here. Good. Good dog. Here. Good dog. Set. You got some more green? Good boy. There you go. We worked him forever. We finally gave it up. That was a good volley of birds. Really good volley of birds. See if we can pluck some more here. It's starting to uh, drizzle. Some fog's rolling in on us finally, and it's getting the ducks hungry. Oh, God. Look at this, boys. Holy.
That's a dog. Come on. Come on. Hold it tight. Here, my bird. My bird. Here. Heel. Lay down. Good dog. Good boy. Ooh, that's a big green head. Woo! Good job, Fred. If you guys are liking the video, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button for me and Fred. Come on. Whew. Well, uh, I am so sorry that the vlogging has kind of went down the drain in this video. It started raining on us. As you can tell, the windows are wet. It is now a little after 11 a.m. We're leaving the spread up, and this is why. We got into those ducks right as the cloud cover set in and right as the sprinkling, the sprinkling of rain started. That's when the ducks just came and gave it up. So this, uh, this weather is supposed to be progressing as the day goes on. The wind's supposed to pick up a little bit out of the east, and it's supposed to shove some more moisture in our lap. Now. That being said, I think we've shot maybe six, seven ducks and two geese. So we're gonna leave the spread up. We're gonna go to lunch. Like I said, it's a little after 11 a.m. Uh, but I really want to apologize. I, it's hard. Uh, it's hard vlogging when it's uh, when it's wet, cold, you know. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed uh, so far. I hope you guys have enjoyed the mallard hunting. Uh, it was really, really slow off the get-go. I mean, really slow. I was like, oh no, oh no, this is gonna be an evening deal. And then, like I said, the weather came in and here came the mallards. They got off the water and they wanted to feed. It's weird, right when a little bit of weather rolls in, see, morning hunting here in Kansas for mallards in the field has pretty much been a botch. Hasn't been good. The only time you've been able to hunt mallards here in the last two three weeks has been in the evening so i'm really glad we got into them a little bit in the morning we're gonna let this spread sit go eat some lunch like i said three times come back and see if we can finish out a good old hunt so again if you guys like the video let me know hit the thumbs up button for me and frederick we're getting out here we're trying them i'm trying to get some duck hunting in before the season's over like i said earlier because there ain't much of it left i mean just to be honest it really really pains me to say that but got to get them while you can i encourage you guys to get out there get out there while you can don't wait till it's too late and you're kicking yourself in the butt going oh man i wish i would have hunted more get out there if you get a chance well got you on the gopro i have a pretty good idea oh fred i think he's pretty funny back here in the back of the truck what are you doing man what are you doing up there that's his spot and uh oh man you already smashed it i already put down a you already smashed your bowl of food dude holy smokes that boy was hungry hungry boy but i'm gonna put the gopro back here and we're gonna video old fred i think it'll be pretty cute
Sit. Sit. Nice. Nice. Nice shooting, boys. Well, we're obviously back. Good boy, here. Let's go. We're obviously back from lunch. <laughs> and uh, boy, they did it really, really good. Here, Fred, here. Here. Let's go. That three pack did it extra nice. Wow. Uh, we got some cloudy weather. It's going to remain cloudy all day. We might get a little bit of mist in, a little bit of sprinkling. Sit, Fred. And. Uh, they seem to be moving around all morning and all day, you know, just kind of feeding around, bouncing around to water, low spots. Hopefully we'll get some trickling going on. Lay down. Shoot him, guys. Sit, Fred. I'm, they're out of my range. Fred. <laughs> well, I tried to one arm lariat, but uh, I had to hold Fred. Fred, good dog, here! Let's go, here! Some young specs is what that is. Uh, having to hold Fred, he's wanting to break, and I'll sacrifice shooting to hold the dog down today. That's that's what I'm, what I'm dedicating today, so hopefully it's helping for the long run. My goodness. Here, right over here, over here. Good boy. Look at that. Let go. My bird. That speck tastes good or what, dude? Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Down. What happened, dude? I'm getting rained on. It's starting to rain on us pretty good here. Lovely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Little Freddy. He's like, Dad, what do you got me doing out here? You're not gonna lay on my lap, dude. Lay down. Lay down. The rain's picking up again. Fred is not enjoying things. Look at that face. <laughs> it's wrong, dude. Uh, yeah, that's a poor boy. Archer loving it back there? Oh yeah, he's got a little tent. That's what Fred needs. He's being a big old wussy out here in the wet. What's wrong, dude? Huh? Oh, <laughs> you've been snoozing. Been snoring. Everybody's been thinking it's me over here snoring, but it's this guy. 9% battery. Well, what time is it, Gerald? 4.45? Probably 4.45, I don't even want to get my phone out and look. It's been raining on us for a while. Old Fred's soaked. We've downed a couple more green heads, a handful probably. The GoPro died a long time ago. It's not doing so good in this weather. It's cold, it's wet. These GoPro batteries don't last very long. But uh, we got about 20 minutes left. That's about it. Oh man, I'm sorry guys, but the GoPro died, the shot cam died. Uh, we got into some good looking studly pintails right at the end of the hunt here, pulling in the field to uh, pick up the spread. As you can tell, I am a muddy, muddy mess. Hopefully it's uh, all good and dandy getting in the field and getting out with the trucks here. Woo. Well, it is a, a handful of days later. And uh, I always like recapping the hunt, you know what I mean? It got cold, it got wet, the weather drained my batteries. With it being an all-day hunt... Oh, hi Fred, hi. Oh, hi there guy. One thing about Fred on this hunt... Oh jeez, you're getting water all over me. Dude! Hey dude! One thing about Fred though... This hunt pushed him past his limits. With it raining, with him laying on his belly on the wet soil, he was uncomfortable. But it was really, really good for him. Look at that face. How couldn't you just love a sweet face like that? Oh, I love this guy. But it was good for him. It pushed Fred past his limits. Fred learned a ton that day. And that's what's good. I like handling Fred. The times that I shot was fun, but he broke. Uh, now I got a system, though, uh, where he's leashed down and he's not able to do that. So we're going to have a lot better luck with it. 
but the weather sat in, camera batteries all drained, and I didn't want to ruin them. The Pintel, oh man, that's the first Pintel I've ever shot off my lease field. I'm sorry I was unable to film it for y'all, but after I pulled in, I got out, it was pouring the entire time we picked up. It was a complete wreck. That is why all these decoys are in the shop yet again, because they're drying. So, it was just a muddy mess, I hope you guys enjoyed this video i really hope you did because i enjoyed this hunt it was an awesome little hunt on the old lease field but if you guys want to help support the channel you know what to do go on down in the description click on the ducks waterfowl link and pick you up something every purchase goes directly to helping me bring you guys more of these videos and if you haven't checked out them thermal sweats oh yeah they are warm and they are comfy let me tell you be sure to hit that little notification bell down there because it will notify you when your boy uploads. Just be sure to subscribe, y'all. I appreciate y'all being here. But like always, until next time. Peace.